hello and welcome to Learn to Fly. Um, this is the sequel to Learn to Fly, which is another Flash game that I played years and years ago. But kind of going on in the same vein as playing Oligarchy there not too long ago. Uh, I decided I might as well revisit this one because this was probably another one of my favorite games to play whenever I got access to, you know, my parents' laptop as a kid. Um, if you've noticed the screen is stretched out a little bit, that's because this game is just in 4-3 uh, aspect ratio. Um... And so I've stretched out a little bit. Hopefully that's not an issue on your guys' end. Uh, yeah, as it says there, you can play this game for yourself on Congregate as well. Just to, to fill you guys in as well. Um, so the previous game had this penguin here, the protagonist, crashing into an iceberg as he attempted to learn how to fly. Um, he's ended up in hospital now, but he's back with a vengeance. Yeah. There's the scene of the accident. Hmm. So yeah, we're going to be doing a, a playthrough from start to finish, I hope. Um, and I might be able to show you a couple little secret tricks back from when, you know, games had much more uh, effort-based progression, I suppose. So we're going to start a new game uh, in story mode. The art for this is very cute, actually. <laughs> Lovely. So, kind of the game loop of, of, of this game is sliding some kind of projectile off a ramp. This one is particularly penguin shaped. And uh, just seeing how far it goes. Because our ultimate objective is to, is to take these projectiles and make them uh, what do I call it we're basically going to try and destroy the iceberg by crashing something heavy into it like that that's the game loop um, this is all just upgrade stuff so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just I don't know ram length height is there a sleigh we can get maybe why not let's grab ourselves a plank <sighs> all right yeah so this is the game loop is we we do a run we go back to the Back to the shop, we do another run, uh, and every time we're doing it with, with better upgrades. Uh, as our upgrades get a bit more sophisticated, uh, we get like options to kind of steer a bit more, we get control of hang gliders, we can activate rockets as well to give ourselves a little bit of an extra boost. So it becomes more than just pushing a, a sandbag down a ramp, but you know, these first maybe 10 or so days will, will just be can we shuffle this thing down a cliff? So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there was a bit more of that, like, kind of sneaky, high-effort gameplay. That said, I feel like it's mentioning the the ultimate glider that it's possible to get in the game. Uh, the secret glider. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I find this very endearing. The fact there's, like, an invisible glider there at the back of the book. Sorry, let's read the description of the brick as well, because I know some people like that. Bad aerodynamics, unnecessary weight, square. But seriously, when you're this cool, you don't bother with the details. Yeah, so just top, having that on increases our top speed a little bit, which is nice. Payload. Sand. Eventually, you can get up to osmium, which is, like, quite delightful. Twice the density of lead, and many times its price. Is osmium twice the density of lead? I feel like it's not like you know lead being the highest mass state. I don't know. Maybe osmium just has a a denser packing than lead does. Interesting. I didn't expect this game to I don't know bring back memories of material physics, but it it is how it is sometimes. So yeah. Oh, I'll go back to that once we're done this run here. That was actually kind of nice. Yeah. So. 
we have a snowman here to take out, kind of on way to the iceberg. So it eventually becomes our task to just eliminate a, a series of enemies essentially by smacking into them, which I think is just a, a lovely bit of a game loop. Reminder: sky up, ground down. Reminds me of a Werner Blau lecture. Ooh, I can already upgrade to iron pellets. The plank mark too. Though it cannot be explained, the smooth edges seem to increase performance. We also removed the nails. Yeah, I was wondering, actually. According to our research, rough edges and extra nails should increase speed while reducing friction. Good research. Yeah, is there anything else I really want at the moment? I'll just take a bit more ramp length. So yeah, there's snowman, a snow mound, a rocky hill, and an iceberg to take care of. Um, but then at the very end of it is the wall, just like a truly enormous like wall of ice. I don't know. This game was made back when we still had ice in, Dark in Antarctica. I don't know if it was... Was it the Arctic that recorded like 38 degrees or something? Uh, like the warmest day in the Arctic ever? Like, it's not going to be too long until that flips around. We start seeing Antarctica just being like, yep, going back to being a tropical landmass like it was millions of years ago. I don't know, that cloud was just like particularly dopey looking. Alright, alright. Uh, we're gonna go for... Oh, do we save for that? Nah, the increase in speed for Plank Mark 2 is actually quite good. Huh. Well, I can take a spring as well. But I don't, I don't really like... I don't really like these active sleds. Placing a spring on the plank resulted in a particular takeoff. The test subject crashed violently, but then we made, but we've made some ch changes since then. Right. So yeah. So active sleighs are like they'll fire you kind of at the end of the ramp, uh, whereas normal sleighs will just like carry you off a little bit more. We're getting closer now. Only like 19. I'm gonna say meters, even though it feels like feet. <laughs> Fuel. Ah, yes, we'll need that for like boosters later on. Note to self, where is the cash coming from? And who sells nuclear warheads? Nuclear warheads? What? What? Are there nuclear warheads here? A cruise missile. Weird. Who does sell nuclear warheads to a penguin? Um, yeah. So, we're gonna get this last bit of rampite here, and after this run, I'm gonna show you guys the bonus shot. Um, which is really one of the reasons that learn to fly really how would i say it kind of won me over effective immediately because this game came out at the same time as a lot of other games like this were you know having microtransactions and monetizations introduced so here's the bonus shop right buy persistent upgrades with your bonus points when i saw this first i was like oh great they put fucking microtransactions in in a game about flying a penguin. And I was like, not impressed. But then learning that I could earn more bonus points by earning medals, playing arcade mode, or completing story classic mode was delightful. I don't know, it's just something about having, about rewarding players for doing the specific that I really liked. Now, hang on. More days in a month, this calendar starts on day zero. Now, what? That makes no sense. Uh, nobody gets rich by earning their money. The real way to make the big bucks is knowing how to make more from what you got. 5% more cash in every run. Not bad. Huh. See, these are all, like, super cool little gadgets here. Obey gravity. You won't feel 3.3% of gravity. Strange. Red zones. Make iceberg 15% weaker. Huh. <laughs> if for some reason you feel like the developer did a bad job setting the angle of the ramp, here's your chance to adjust it to suit your needs. Uh, these are actually kind of good. I might... I might just take extra cash. Because, like, there's no harm in that. Oh, wait, I can do it again. Yeah, I'll spend all my points and get an extra cash. M more money never hurt. This way we'll be able to progress a bit faster as well, which would be nice. But yeah, so the bonus shop kind of rewards you for doing little achievements, like getting the brick. You have to destroy obstacles by hitting them, only then will you really be able to fly.
Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, of course. Yeah. So these payloads, they're not just meant to destroy. They're meant to also get it out of the way of the penguin. Because, like, the penguin established in the last game that he could fly. It's just he kept smacking into shit. Oh, pacifist. What? What? How do I... Ah, medals, medals, medals. Right. Ah, this is how I learned about the, the brick, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Yeah, these are like the special achievements here. So, purchase the hidden glider, the brick. So I was like, the hidden glider? I just kind of like, you know, fiddled around the book a bit. Um, ended up finding the glider there. Destroy an ob obstacle with the worst glider. Surely you don't mean the brick. What's the best glider? No penguins were harmed in the making of this game. Delightful. So yeah, hopefully with a bit of a cash upgrade though, we'll be a... Uh... <gasps> We're getting closer, we're getting much closer. 15, 15 feet away. Okay. What should we do next? Another uh, sled, hmm. Old glider, 200. Feels like it's worth it. Okay, these are weird, these are weird ones. What's the point of this? Uh, <laughs> because part of flying is simply not falling. Fair enough. Now I feel like we can keep going with the brick. Maybe get a booster though. Ooh, a sugar rocket. And air. Or whistle rockets. Ooh, I don't know. Four shots, one shot. Or thrust. What's cheapest overall? 175. Okay, 35. I kind of don't want to waste my cash. Oh, it'll be a while before we get a pulse jet, though. Okay, I'll get a sugar rocket for now. Right. Each glider has a red zone. Flying fast, then the glider max speed will increase wind resistance, meaning you won't go as far if you go too fast. Alright, enough. Kind of achieving a bit of a terminal velocity. Uh, what button is it? There we go. I'm going to fly right over now, and I? Nice. Good job, me. <laughs> oh well. Lovely. Oh, we got more distance as well, so that's more cash. That's good though. It means that we will be able to actually smack into it then. Uh shortly. I'm just gonna grab the iron pellets now, seeing as, as we have we do have the money for it. Like no harm in it. It's ready up. And here we go. I've missed it again, haven't I? Okay, I, I'll, I'll be gentler. I'll be gentler next time. I'll... Duration one. Nice. Okay, okay. So we'll, we'll just look, we'll just let the sled do its thing. Nope. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I do actually have to use the booster to get there, but I don't have to, I shouldn't use it too much. Get an angle just right. As I said earlier as well, you can play this game by yourself on concrete if you're just like looking for something to do. Uh, yes! Got it. Kinda really finagle that one. Okay, lovely. That was a bunch of metal as well. Destruction one. Oh, that's so much cash. Delightful. We're close to getting the bob sled. Or not the bob sled, but the good old sled. Yeah, let's get that let's get that soon. Let's save up for that. Okay. So the next objective is the snow pile. We're, we're, we're done with you now. Snowman, we're just going for the distance. I actually somehow failed to go as far. That's fine. We're getting the, the good old sled now. Available in, in natural finish, wood brown, and a clear coating. Delightful. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Again, that doesn't feel like much further beyond. New altitude, anyway. Alright. Maybe I should entertain an alternative glider to the brick. Or maybe... I should see if there's anything else I can get here. Sometimes when you run out of fuel at high altitudes... It's Rob, what? Sometimes when you land on the ground... Complete the game to learn this secret. Something with the mouse and this metal. If I click it? Like, isn't that delightful? You just get to click it. Click something at the shop screen. 
Give an inch, we'll take a yard. But the shop screen. Ooh, this is interesting. What do I need to click? What do I click? What do I click? Research. I just click on the money. Did it give me a dollar? Do I click on it again? Take a mile. I'll take a yard, rather. More money. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. How are we doing for the bonus shop? Get more cash. Yeah. Well, no. No, I want to save up for the Omega catalog because I want to be like... Bounty Hunter. Wait, what? What the heck is that for? Bounty Hunter... Earn a total of a thousand bonus points. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Look, we'll just keep going with it. I'm sure that's what you came here to see, is a, a penguin. You know what, actually... I'm gonna try and hit it that time. I think we might try to take it out. I think destruction gives you cash as well. So, whilst we're still kind of in range, we might as well go for it. Get it a couple more times, maybe. Oh. Uh, like, the, the angle that the, the penguin flies at just is not conducive. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. And, oh, come on. I shouldn't have boosted. I should have... You know what? You know what? I know now I don't need to boost. Boost. We'll just... Give it another go, and the penguin will hit it. For reals this time. Are you kidding me? Okay, a little bit more ramp length. Maybe that'll just get us to naturally hit the snowman. Not even touching anything. It's just letting nature do its work. Okay, I landed perfectly on top of it. That is... That is ideal. Oh, we get $44. Oh, yeah, we got a 10% boost because of the book. So we get a bit of money for it. It's not bad. Also not great. There's, they say there are no icebergs in Africa, but I can't fly there. Actually, someone tell me if this is true or not. Kilimanjaro is, like, ice-capped, right? I'm pretty sure there was, like, some people who went up Kilimanjaro thinking, like, you know, all of that ice was basically just, like, gleaming silver. And when they got up there, they were like, oh, the silver is cursed, because it just melted in their hands. I don't know, I remember reading that in, like a, in a horrible geography book or something when I was younger. Uh, oh jeez, where do I go next? Ah, nuclear warhead, I see. Ah, so they're explosive payloads. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll just keep going with these kind of like static upgrades for the time being. Oh my goodness, that's some speed. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're well, well past the snowman now. Today's flight earned two hundred ninety-four dollar. I love it. Fuel. I might, might as well grab some more fuel whilst I'm here. Let's see if we can just go straight up this time, actually. Oh, tracing out a nice little parabola there. Duration. Lovely. Okay, that's that's good. That's a bit of cash. A new altitude and duration record. Sweet. New <gasps> we're so close to getting the Omega catalog, guys. Uh, once we get that, we're free to kind of dick around with everything else. But this is like, I just remember considering this essential. Uh, the Omega catalog. They say it was written by the Aztecs. It was found next to a printing press not far from here. One extra upgrade in every possible aspect will be available in the shop once you buy this thing. So yeah. That's like how you get like the real powerful endgame stuff. And I just want to like... I know I probably shouldn't be concerned about it because I'll, I'll get more points along the way. But I'm also worried about like, you know, not having the points. Actually, I don't know if you noticed it there. But when the penguin crashed into the ground, he actually started building up a little bit of snow on him. And that's just a, that's just a nice little effect. I'm a big fan of nice game design. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's a lovely little touch. As a semblance of realism to this rock-repelled penguin game. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get the pulse jet. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get. I don't know what's the most expensive thing. The ultra light aircraft. So I might as well just stick with the brick for now. Oh my god, everything is forever away. Okay, I might actually need to transition to a, a proper glider after this. Tell you what, I'll save up for. Um, let's just keep going fast. <laughs> well, we got like a, a chord of a, of a different song there for a second. All right, just because we were finally going fast enough for it. Yeah, I, I, I'll pick up the hang glider once I can get it. So we should be able to just uh, wait. There's a save game option there? Well, I should probably do that. There we go. Okay. Trying to, trying to just keep us going as long and far as we can. Yeah, that's good. Good for distance and duration. Sweet. Okay. Now let's grab ourselves a hang glider and actually start making the distance. I've been, I've been bricking around up until actually, you know, back to the shop. Save game. Oh yes. Oh, lovely. It saved like. Wait, no, what? June twenty-six. Oh, this is the auto save. Sorry, I hear I was excited that it saved my plates from like years ago. Because I'm using the same account from now as I as I was then. Oh my god, look at this advanced UI. Oh my goodness. Truly living in the future. I got a little... I don't know what this is called, actually. Kind of like a level? I don't know. Okay, let's dip. Oh, we're getting... We actually passed this guy by. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of cash. Okay. Yeah, tr transitioning to the uh, to the glider was. I'll admit it. It was not. It was not the worst idea you guys ever had. I say you guys. As if I'm streaming. I don't know. Would people be interested in seeing a stream of like flash game? Could be nice. I'm gonna try and like. Oh my god, we just boosted right through it. Do I have any fuel left? Oh yeah, we got a little. Yeah, you see, you see that, like, that little bit of extra guitar going. Wow, so we just kind of destroyed the snow pile. Probably because we had all these other upgrades like prior to the brick. Come on, how close can we get? Ah! Okay, fine. Whoa. That's some intense music. Nice. Okay, how are we for bonus points? Did we get any more now? No, we're still at 950. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, a bit more ramp length, a bit more ramp height. Plenty of fuel. Okay, we'll start we'll start saving up for the bobsled then. Because, like, if we're getting... If we're getting, like, almost a thousand or so on a run, like, that just seems like the right idea to me. Yeah. Yeah, let's just keep our speed up as well, actually. Okay, that's us out of fuel now. But as you can see, like, it does get a bit more, like, you have to pile it a bit more. Whoa! Here we go! Ah, uh, okay. We smacked into it, but we didn't get any very far. Still, that's $118 worth of destruction. So it's, like, not nothing. Traveler 2. Lovely. So we'll grab ourselves a bobsled. But then we're also going to hit the bonus shop and nab ourselves the Omega catalog. Lovely. All these guys. Right, nothing costs 50. Nothing costs 50, so that's fine. So, yeah. The Omega catalog. Access to dark matter. Uh, it's, just, it's just such cool stuff. I'm like, I love it. The Omega coil and the super slide. Like, what's not to love? Right, with the bobsled and the hang glider in tow, this, this rock is going down. Oh my god. You know, I really like the motion blur in the clouds. It really gives the game a sense of speed. Yeah, I'm passing the snow pile right by. No time for small fry. Alright. I'm gonna, like, boost really hard once we get close to the... Eat it, you big mountain. Ah, okay. Do we just need a heavier material? That might be it. We might just not be hefty enough to burst on through the other side. What do we need? Cast iron. Okay, we have enough for it. Let's take it. 
yeah, that, that rock's as good as dead. Day 34. Yeah, this, oh my goodness. It just, it feels fast, doesn't it? Like, you're absolutely, you're straight up gone by the snowman. No chance whatsoever. Alright, let's do this. Give it to me, give it to me, come on, come on, come on, come on. Base. Uh. What? Okay. It was, turns out that was a big ass mountain. That we just fucking smashed. Oh, I love it. That's so good. <gasps> yes. Nice. Duration two. Okay, bonus shop. How much does this cost? 500. Oh, okay, now we can start look going for like smaller little boosts. That'll be nice. Uh, information, ramp adjustment, extra fuel, reduced gravity, reduction of drag, weaker icebergs, speed loss. Yeah, let's get rid of speed loss. Less drag is good. Whoa, I didn't even realize I had this much cash. How are we for gliders? The high tech is... Ultralight trek. What? Wait, what? What? So the difference between a glider, flight, and top speed. Why is this flight? What? Years of research and nanotechnology were required for this amazing project to reach this particular shade of green. Sounds about right. Um, best they offer less control than hang gliders. Okay. You know, I might give this a miss then and upgrade into into this tree here to go for the ultralight trike. Yeah, just because I want that a bit more speed. And can I grab more fuel? Actually, can I grab a better rocket? Let's get a pulse jet. Yeah, dude. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, just a completely different beast. Also, I love that we put like a vehicle with wheels inside of a inside of a bobsled. Let's pick up the pace a bit there. Wow, this can really hold, rather maintain speed quite well. Oh, you don't have a chance. Yeah, let's get the speed back up then. Okay, so that's. We're looking at the iceberg next, if I recall correctly. Starting to lose a bit of speed there. Alright, let's... Oh! Whoa! We're skipping on water! What? Alright. Fair enough. I, I suppose that makes sense if we're going after an iceberg, actually, now I think about it. Duration and bounce. Okay, I didn't even know there were bounce medals. Uh, destruction. Distance. Duration. Oh, they're not. They're not like medals then. They're just like different achievements. Or challenges. That's what they are. The challenges. Bounce the water twice. Bounce the water ten times. That's crazy. Destroy two obstacles in a single run. That seems doable. That seems doable. Oh, we can also like just go for uh, a bit of verticality now as well, actually. Why is height more valuable? More starting altitude will get you better scores and distances. And that's just for speed. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, why not just go straight up? It's the worst that could happen. And why not just go straight down? The skull crusher. Lovely. Okay. Nothing spectacular, but an interesting little... Uh, it was okay for cash too, realistically. Let's get a bit more length. Okay. So let's actually try to take out a couple of these the same run. I actually can't. I cannot. I could not hit the. Okay, can't hit that either. I'm actually just too high. I'm going too fast. Okay, here comes this guy at least. Yeah, there he goes, no problem. Let's get back up to 150 because I'm loving this. This is quite a jam. Oh, we're close to the water. Playing, playing with, I was going to say fire, but here, but like that's exactly the opposite of what we're playing with. Oh, 
there's the iceberg. It's not too far away. Let's do it. Can we do it? Can we do it? Ah, uh, okay. No, it's a tough boy. Okay, it requires a bit more. Requires a bit more effort. Still, though, that was pretty good. Okay. Okay, I like that a lot. Right, well, obviously that didn't work, so we need to go back to the old classic. Yeah, there's, there's, I, I don't see anything wrong with this plan. Yep, just keep... Okay. Hmm. I'd argue that it wasn't as impressive. Alright, maybe we'll put that back on the on the back burner for a moment. Ooh, we're getting close enough to get the ultralight aircraft, though, which is pretty cool. Day 39. Will we try and do the skip next? No, I flew over that, too. How low do I have to be? How? I, I touched off the ground there. And I didn't even, I didn't actually have the, the kinetic energy to break through that one. Okay, we'll try that again, we'll try that again. We're close to having the ultralight track anyway. So I really just need to dip down almost immediately, like. Okay, that's one broken. And I've got fuel to like, kind of pick myself back up. Gotta stay above 100 though to break this apparently. There we go. That's a two times combo done. One bounce, that's two bounce, that's three bounce, let's pick up the speed of it. Four bounce, five bounce. Five bounce is not bad when I was kind of like out of fuel. Hmm. Two hit combo as well. Good, good, good. Ooh, actually, can we buy anything super special? <gasps> we can. We can get the super slide. Okay, I'm sorry. We're getting that get an Omega gear like so fast like oh my goodness we're only what day is it even oh it's just day 41 we've already got a first Omega equipment that's so cool like do you see that that's ridiculous right off the ramp at more speed than this trike can actually handle and it's such an altitude actually oh my gosh I think did not stand a chance Oh, so I'm going to get more skips out, but that's fine. Yeah, max speed record, I wonder why. We're probably able to grab up the maximum altitude record off this as well. There we go. That was quite the smack. Okay, sweet. Maximum speed. Not as much as our other flights have earned us, but that's fine. Yeah, how much is like the top tier, like the Omega glider? 35,000! Originally designed to reach outer space, it's now being sold because its previous owners completely forgot about spacesuits. That'll that'll do it to you. Osmium's 10,000. Dark matter, though. Ooh. How are we doing for these guys here? The Ramjet's also 10,000. What about the Omega Drive? The, the Balloon Mark II. Wait, is the Balloon like... Yeah, Air Balloon. That was quite the improvement, honestly. Using alien technology, they were able to reach their initial view of this propulsion system. Ooh, 25k for this. I don't know. Tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Actually, what am I talking about? I'm just going to grab the ultralight for now. That makes perfect sense. As for these upgrades here, I'll grab a touch more fuel. Success is just trying one more time than you before you, you fail. 43. I like that. That's cute. Oh, this is big. And it can hold quite a high top speed. Like, really, no issue. Alright, Iceberg. You had, you had nothing on us. That's quite the skip. 
getting some portal esque music in there. How far are we? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get further. We might as well just call this run here. When we bring it back, though, that'll be good. Oh, I love it. Best destruction. You know, at this rate, we're gonna get in the rest of the Omega here any minute now. Yeah. A couple more runs. The wall. Crush. Oh, wait. Well, we just beat the iceberg, of course. So we literally have just the last objective to, to break through. Oh my god. Passing over the mountain as well. Where's the water? There's there's the water. Gotta break through this. We didn't even break through it this time? What? Got a better max speed though. Okay, that's fair enough. You know, I'll take the Osmium for now. Just because like, I don't want to deal with that iceberg. In impinging me. Okay, how low can I get? No. Nope. Okay, I can just like... I can touch the ground after that. That's broken, no problem. Oh, I've... Dive? Okay. That wasn't the intent, but apparently I pressed the D key. Wait, what? Yeah, I was like, why did I still have control? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Dive, you say? Not, not a bad idea. Any other challenges we can do? Another dive. Duration. Fly distance of 4,000 feet. Reach an altitude of 400 feet. Fly the wrong way for 100 feet. Wrong way? Alright. I can do something wrong. Here we go. What an interesting little challenge! Like, th it's stuff like this I love about this game. I wonder if it's all just like land behind me or is there water out here too? Hmm. I'm just gonna try and hold a relatively steady altitude. I say that I'm like, I'm trying to go for the distance. I might as well get both in this one run if we can. There we go. Reverse two. Might as well pick up the base a bit. See any water anyway? Duration four, fair enough. I approve. Hmm. I feel like that'd be quite bad for the uh, the the ultra light trike. But sure, what do I know? Ooh, those are my nice bonuses. Huh, Metal Required Reverse. Oh, no, back at the shop. There are eight secrets to find in this game. What? Interesting. Uh, well, I got the Thor Ramjet. Hang on, what do these guys cost again? They're like 25k each. The best glider is... 35,000. The chopper. But just keep going. We'll just see how far we can get, or will we grab these upgrades first? I really don't know. I really don't know. We said there were more secrets. Where are the secrets? Sometimes when you run out of fuel at high altitudes. Fuck it, let's go up to a high altitude and run out of fuel. Let's see what happens then. What's a high altitude according to this game? No, okay, apparently we're just heading back to Earth. <laughs> nice. I wonder if that count as destruction. That kind of does. Sweet. 666. Lol. Right. Uh, what other challenges do we have? Destruction. Destroy the wall. Dive into the sea 50 feet. How can you destroy every obstacle in a single run? That makes no sense. What about the bonus shop? What do you have for me? I will take more money. Like, if I were to make a concerted effort... No, I go right by it, like... And pretty much that one, too. Don't know what you want from me, game. 
Don't know how to please you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Damn it. Need more fuel. <laughs> oh, that's actually quite a lot of money. I like that a lot. Rich bird. Oh, because we've had more than... Oh my god, that's enough to get the... Alright then, that's... No, it's not enough to get that, but it's enough to get, like, the ultimate booster. Which I'm stoked about. Stoked AF. Uh, Omega Drive. Yeah, let's take that. You've never seen a penguin reaching Mach 2. Here's your chance. Or if you've never seen a penguin reaching Mach 2. It's the little things, you know? Like seeing a penguin reach Mach 2. Oh! I love it. The sense of speed is incredible. Give me that water. I want the water. No, I'm not looking for... That's just a lot of snow. No, let's leave. We're leaving. We're taking off again. We're done. Oh my gosh. Oh, the graphic was staying out. I thought I like, somehow managed to get infinite fuel. I was like, what? Okay. Four. We actually might have a better chance getting the, uh, the skip after the iceberg. I'm not sure. In any case, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish off the fuel. Cause that Omega Drive is really good. All right, sorry, there's no man. We got no chance at. Okay, well, that's one skip. Two skip. One. Red skip. Blue skip. Okay. Five, six. No! Damn it. That was my bad. I I, uh, I meant to boost, but I leaned into it. Okay. 7k. Uh, let's get a bit more length. Why not? Why don't you get <laughs> sickeningly fast? Or sickeningly fast, rather. Oh, that's why, because we're already reaching our terminal velocity by the time we leave the ramp. A touch less than practical. Oh, I com just completely missed the mountain. We didn't even break through that time. Uh, my brain was just like not there for that run. Okay, okay. We gotta get 35k to get the ultralight aircraft. That's kind of, oh, not the ultralight aircraft, the, the Omega Glider. That's kind of our next bit. Yeah, I'll leave the ramp height for now. I want speed. Give me speed. Okay. So it should be water. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know if I'm for five. Damn it! Oh, it's too low. Ah, oh. it's almost like I like I just I I freeze up. They hit the iceberg. It's awful. Okay, we'll get it this time for sure. What well, I use the boost there. I'd be going past terminal velocity, even if I just, like... Yeah, okay, so we're past this rock now. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. One, five. Six. Oh, see, I'm worried about going... Seven. Eight. Oh, gee, that was close. Nine. Oh, no, we got it. Okay, cool. I just can't count. Even better. Oh, and I've got the thing where it's, like, showing up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's pu let's push it. We're close. We're getting close. We're getting close to the wall. Okay, we're, like, halfway there. If we focus more on actually getting to the, uh, on actually getting to the wall, I think we can do it. Oh, that's so much cash. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We're like, one easy runaway. Okay, let's see how many of these we can take out in the way. Never mind. Okay, that's one. That's two. Let's get the wall. Why not? Let's do it. We've got you this time. Here we go. Using all my fuel.
finally done it. <laughs> like some comments. <laughs> I think that suck. A stupid non flying animal caught itself a bird and they give up and die in a fire. <laughs> Trolled on your personal Facebook. What's he doing now? Oh, he's gonna fly himself? What? So that's that's stuff from like the first game. Oh, I completed the story mode in 54 days. They say difficult things take a long time and impossible things take a little longer. Aw. That's delightful. Here's a hint. If you ever end up losing your save data or playing another computer, you can unlock everything by simply clicking the penguin's beak at the main menu. Oh, that's such a cool feature! And now you know, so you can just play this game with cheats enabled, so that's fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but come on, I wanna I wanna Yeah, give I I wanna I wanna show off the Omega Glider, at least. Cause there's another little little tricky thing I wanna show you guys too. Just before we finish up, because we're we're almost done. We're almost done. So we took out the iceberg. But now we're up here with the Omega Glider. Things are looking pretty pretty fine. If I do say so myself. Ah. <sighs> Okay, just keep going. Iceberg, couldn't be bothered, we're gonna fly right over you. So here's the thing. We're gonna give the wall the exact same treatment. Fly right past it. Right over the wall. Somewhere on Mauritius. <laughs> Smelter. Nature's troll. <laughs> right. So yeah, I just wanted to show off that little bit of a scene there as well, where he does actually manage to deal with the troll in a completely pacifistic and responsible way. Um, kind of at that note, then that is that is learn to fly too. Uh, there's still like more to go through in terms of like getting other achievements and stuff, and so many medals to get that I just didn't get. So if you want to go for that, by all means, uh, it's it's on concrete. You can go play yourself. It's, it's a it's a good time. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.